Harney County in Eastern Oregon is 10,000 square miles of wide open spaces and rugged beauty. It's the kind of place where the shortest distance between two points is measured in miles of well-traveled roads. Which is why when you're on a mission to change minds and hearts, a snack and a smile are good ways to make friends. Hey Susan! Hey, how are you? Good. What are you doing there? Well, it's either breakfast or lunch depending on how far along you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yum, Sunny. It's good, though. Is that an it. apple pie? It is. Sunny Svekar's mission is to change the way people in Harney County talk about breast cancer and breast health. And thanks to Komen Community Grants, the conversation in Harney County is changing for the better. So when is your appointment? My next one is in April. It's been 11 years. It, it had been. I look at my job as informing people, educating people on the importance of being proactive in their health, knowing their risk factors, knowing what they can prevent, and making them aware of the importance of early detection. There are we good. I live in a remote mountain buckaroo camp with no electricity. We trot out from camp on our horses every day and from the first of June till the end of September I'm moving cattle every day six days a week. One of the cowboy attitudes is cowboy up, which means toughen up, suck it up. Don't be whining and run into the doctor all the time. If it isn't a pressing urgent need, then it's easy to put it on the back burner. Harney District Hospital is one of 19 health organizations in Oregon and Southwest Washington currently receiving funding through Komen Oregon Community Grants. Since 2004, Komen funding has enabled the hospital to provide education about breast health and encouragement to a community where barriers to treatment are high. Harney represents one of the most uh, rural and isolated counties that we fund and they had such a desperate need for a support group for women who were diagnosed with breast cancer and over the years they've added additional components to their grant of uh, transportation, education and outreach and really they've changed the culture of how people talk about breast cancer in Harney County. Everybody looks so good. The women who were being diagnosed with breast cancer before Komen was involved in Harney County were very advanced stages of breast cancer. I think the impact is so obvious, it is in the numbers. Hold very still. The number of people seeking mammograms in the hospital have gone up. We are finding it much sooner. Because we don't understand the disease, and it's a very complex disease, but we do know if it's found early, the survival rate is 98 percent and uh, the latest stage diagnosis is 26 percent so you know there's a lot of life in between those two numbers and we want to find it early. So I think it's very good that they get started. At Harney County's monthly breast cancer support group meetings longtime survivors like Helen Patton share information with women whose journey with the disease has just begun. I was first diagnosed in 1977. We had no support groups we had no training available to the general public at all. Now, for the first time, we can support Komen right here in Harney County. It bruises where the port is. I mean, yeah. sometimes it'll bruise right there. I know they have that cold feeling inside. And hopefully that our support group can tell them and show them there is hope here and you're going to be okay. We're starting at the skate park. Harney County's crusade against breast cancer even inspired a high school student to turn a Komen mini grant into a community-wide celebration. This was a first for me. I sat down and we wrote the mini grant after some research and decided what exactly we needed the funds for. The funds that we received provided us with the money to put on the race. All the funds that we received through registration were sent to the Komen Foundation. We planned for 150 participants. We expected around 100. We weren't prepared for the numbers that came in. We started to have to make race numbers. We had almost 250 people. And when we lined everyone up at the finish line, it was unreal how many people were there. We raised over $5,000 to send back to Komen. It's like my biggest accomplishment of my life.
we wouldn't be where we are without what Coleman has done for us. I guess I'd go out on a limb and say we wouldn't be helping any of the people that we're helping now if we didn't have funding from Coleman to do it. We have so much need in our area. Every year our grant program receives far more applications than we can fund, so the need is tremendous. We fundraise in all different ways, but people know us best for Race for the Cure, and really the money that we raise is the fuel for all of these programs, and it also funds research at the national levels. That's why we need everyone's help. Even the smallest donation can make a huge difference. When we have a cure for this disease, when there is no more breast cancer, then we can put the pink away. But it's not here yet, and we need the pink.